morning. Yes, we're here early again today. We're gonna fill that up. I'm not sure if we're gonna have room, to be honest, this year. Um, we probably have to extend it out with bales at either side to fetch it really far forward because didn't really do as much as that looks like last night. Um, but yeah, anyway. Action pack today, as can be expected, it's May to harvest, it's exciting, we're on it. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this business. But before all the action happens, we've still got our day-to-day -day stuff to do. So we've got cattle to take this morning. I think my dad is gonna do that. And he's on the straw blower, I can just see him down the bottom and in that shed there. There's the new Holland that we've got in the yard. Not often that we have one of those here with a straight through exhaust. It sounds awesome. So I'll get set off in the daff. Dad's going to be feeding around with the TM. Andy's somewhere with a straw blower. Oh, the sun's starting to come out at least. We've got to see a little bit of what we're doing today. In the dark is not fun. But uh, it is fun. It, yeah, it, yeah it, it is a lot of fun actually, but um, it's better in the day. Right, anyway, next time you see me, we'll be back in the yard. Look at this beast here. Looks like everything is getting ready in the yard. Foragers there, look. Boost. Must be running. Oh no, it's not. Must be getting it filled up with um, liquid. So while there's a little bit of light, we'll have a look at this exhaust. Straight through. It is loud. It's a T7 210. And yeah, we'll have a listen to that a little bit later in the day, but it's a beast. Mark's getting it all greased up. Oh, aye. Uh, is it ready? Can't, can't wait to get on with it. <laughs> get it done. <laughs> yeah, get Before, it. What, what storm's coming? Storm brute, is it? Yeah, they, they say there is, but my forecast saying that it's not, not coming now, really. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So, Mark will be driving this, the big X630. So, it's got the maze header on it, which all folds out, which you'll have seen possibly last night. And then in there, that feeds it in and chops it up into little bits and then behind the cabin here there's an accelerator that spews it out of this chute that can only turn so for people maybe doing their first mar uh, maize harvest it can only come to the side there so you need to drive with your back wheel of the tractor sort of here and then you can always get it in the trailer. But yeah, what a beast. Right, it's time for me to start up the 215 and head to the field. So we decided we need to extend the, the clamp definitely. So we're gonna get some bales on and um, yeah, make a bale wall basically to extend it out. On nine meter, started perfect this morning. So we've extended this while I've been going. Probably need a bit more sheet. And then we're gonna just extend the other side as well. So that's what it looks like now. Remember that. We can still see the concrete panels. A little bit later it'll be higher and bigger. So it's all started in the field here. Looks like Connor is there, just doing the outside run.
So we're driving right up the middle now. The forager is right at the top there. You can see what a good crop it is. It's if I, if I drive at the side, the mirrors are touching the top, and I probably can't touch the mirrors from the floor. I wouldn't have thought. Um, yeah, it's a right crop. So we're behind the forager now. The thing is to keep tight behind him while we're doing this outside run because he's blowing it over the top of the cab. You'll notice that the, uh, the cab is literally covered in um, maize now. So I've got it in the holder just so we're doing some maximum concentration. proper expert we'd be um, we'd be backing up behind him with the trailer tip toe but yeah how guys do that I don't want to know but yeah that, that would uh, that would be expertly done Right, so we'll get alongside Mark. We're going to keep in line with his header. See, he's just gobbling it all up. Then we'll try and keep a steady pace with him. So this is the headland, so the crop's not as good here. Probably the worst place to show you, really. Oh, it's eating that up. 630 horsepower. I don't know if he's got it chipped actually. It's probably running a bit more. Where's your beast? All going into the trailer. So it's a bit of a nightmare. This lorry's been parked on the track all morning. So you've got bus stores or something. It shouldn't really be on here at all. And um, it's meant we've had to drive round him and get him mud on his tyres. Which is a bit of a nightmare. And now he's parked in way so we can't get in other gateways, so we're having to run more in the field. <sighs> Pain having builders next door. So 6820 is now stuck behind them. Waiting. Waiting for him to shift. So people might say, well, you know, just use other gateway. Well, yeah, but we're compacting this. Like it's somewhat rotten. So really damaging as soils when we could just be using the track at the side, but it's blocked off by the lorry. So that's why we're getting a bit like touchy about it, if you know what I mean. So we're gobbling it up again. Just going past bushes. So I'm actually the other side in a different field. Anyway, we've got another full load um, and we'll get out of here. He also needs some additives, so next thing you see, I'm gonna be jumping on the TM, fetching him the um, IBC of water down, and then we'll mix the additive and we'll get him into the back of the machine. So the additive is like, um, I don't know what it is, it's a magical powder that goes in, and I think it like um, ferments, um, uh, it's expensive, I know that, but that's what I definitely do know. Um, yeah, it, uh, it like ferments it and um, 
I don't, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to try and explain what it does from top I'm not really sure. I'll read the packaging. If it tells me any more on that, I'll tell you some more. The loads are coming in thick and, oh, trying to get a, a good view on this. Thick and fast to these guys. You can see the clamps already building up though. pushing on that fen. My dad's part line way. I need to get to the pallet tines that are behind it. Anyway, we got Andy here. So we'll just see what these are doing while I get the keys for the pickup. Dad's on top of the pit. We've got both weights on the 6.9. So that's just rolling it down, getting the air out of it. And the book brake's just pushing it up. It takes some power to get up there, you know. I haven't realised what a beast that trailer is until it like parked there. It's massive. In fact, Michael from GCS Machinery hires massive trailers out like that. There we go. Can you hear it? Here it is. A straight by based. Right, so I'm ready to go to the field. We've got water on, um, additive, whisk, bucket, job done. Let's get on. So we're inside a forager, mine's whisking up. We're going to tip that in the additive tank, and then we'll use this pipe to fill it up. So we got the sprinkler system on. Mark's got his big black pipe. Right, so we're just gonna put some water on this. Then I'm gonna come up with bucket brush. Oh, and brush it off. I mean, there's not, it'll be hard to clean up to be honest, cause it's that, there's hardly out there. So I'm trying to wet it like this to, um, to actually make it lift. We'll try to see what we can do anyway. So I've got back to the farm, got the bucket brush on, so we'll head up there and do that. Listen to the mighty C7. Empty it now. Tidy. So we're just sweeping it up now. The water makes it look worse. We were just dry before. I need the water to get it to come off. At least the lorry's going now, so we shouldn't have to. We'll have a long run up, you see, to get the mud off. So, as I'm here, look what turns up <laughs> a road sweeper. So, I was sweeping this first, by the way, guys. Um, yeah, so somebody's obviously rung, uh, rung about us. So he's just put his hand up to me, fans of council. If we hadn't had to circumnavigate that lorry that was parked on the lane here, you can see what the lane's like. Yes, it's got puddles, but it's all in hard standing. So yeah, if the lorry hadn't brought down, we wouldn't have had to come through there. You can see what the field's like. That's dry. Like, we're not fetching any out, coming, even coming up out of the uh, entrance. It's literally just churning up that, that fresh ground on the right there. So it's making a, uh, a job of it, but it's really difficult to come up because it's just dried on. It needs a good rain on it. Right, I'm back in the yard now, so I'll jump back on my uh, trailer. Look at this, the clamps. Almost to the front, we've only done one field. Um, yeah, it's going to be big this clamp, I can tell already. Right then, time to get back on it. So we're a little bit queued up in the field. I thought we'd just have a look at this T7 coming up here. Sorry about the wind. Hopefully you can hear the noise. Oh, 
in with Mark now. It's a bit it's a bit untidy in here Mark. <laughs> and he's mucking know. out I think. I have no idea what <laughs> <laughs> so just gathering it in. We didn't even stop moving, that's how experts do it, that then, Mark, is it? Experts? <laughs> <laughs> so he lined up at the side of the other one and both were on it. The only thing is we will stop in a minute because I'll be holding job up. So how are you driving it then, Mark? Just keep forward and backwards, is it, on that? Yeah, it's uh, driving exactly the same as a fence, so you pull it back, slows down, keep knocking it forward, speeds up. Oh. Do you have to alter like the cut height or anything? Or is that like yeah, pretty, pretty much on, preset? Yeah, it's all on screen, it has a potentiometer in either side for doing it like, I don't know what you call it. Really. Tilt and height uh, yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. Forward and backwards, don't they? End it running like backs it up or something. Yeah, I think it just empties, empties out. It clears itself and then it's ready to go. So, is it 630 horsepower? This it's supposed to be. Never really tested it. <laughs> it's not something you can really test, is it? We, we, we might have caught you spilling some, to be honest, Mark. Yeah, <laughs> there might be some video evidence somewhere. Guilty. <laughs> There's always a bit of spill. We've got Andy at side of us now. For Mr. Cowgill's trailer. Connor's on it now. It is a beast. Is that cron? They're, uh, they're a good team, uh, Mark and Chris. So Chris Acaster is on the clamp, Mark on the forager. Um, actually won contractor of the year. Um, don't ask me which year it was, but they did. Um, and uh, yeah, they're just real easy people to work with, um, which is what I've found. So they're doing grass, maize, I think they've even done like um, energy crops and stuff, um, Mark would tell me one time. So yeah, they, they, they know the stuff, they know what they're doing and um, yeah, I give them a little bit of crap because they've spilled a little bit here and there but they do a very good job. So um, yeah, well done to Mark and, and all the team there. Jeez, that pit is starting to look full already, like they're at the end of the, the plastic sheet. And... Yep. I am getting slightly concerned that all this maze is not going to fit in the clamp. And what are we going to do with the rest? Do we combine it? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much we can get in first. But it's getting to that point where the clamp's looking full. Right, I'm going to have to get some bales and extend this clamp. Uh, we might not have to shoot. Well, there'll be no sheeting in front. Um, but we'll get some bales put in. Extends clamp another eight foot, doesn't it? If we uh, stick a bale there, we'll put some more behind to act as extra weight. Look at this on the horizon. They're harvesting potatoes as well today. That is a beast, isn't it? Self propelled. What a weapon. So the T7's coming out. Me and Andy are just going in on the lane. And I think, oh yeah, it's 6 feet 20. It's getting filled up now. Oh, well, that makes a difference for, for me anyway, because uh, I'm not the only one. I mean, I'm not like 
it's been get to the field, come straight back, get to the field, come back straight back. Now I'm going to be waiting for Andy, so, oh, might have a banana. So he's sort of taking like swipes and then going down. There's Mark. And there we go with the 210. So I'll wait up here while I can see how full Andy's trailer is. And then I'll pull up alongside him and we'll try the professional way of keeping the forager moving at all times. Missed a bit there, Mark. See how he just rips it into the centre? And then that spring's bouncing up and down all the time. That's what's, I think that's where it's cracking the maze or where it's doing the work to chop it all up. I might be wrong. I think that's where it's happening. And then yeah, throwing it right into this massive trailer. Huge. So I caught Andy up. This clamp is getting big. I mean, I put them bales there and it looks like I need a hundred more. Well, not hundred, but you know what I mean. It looks like I need to be uh, out to the track up here. So I'll let Andy get off and then I'll let him push that up. Tip my load. So this here is the last run. So me and Mike are just getting the last few bits in this field. There's a, a run up here, about three plants wide I think it is. Um, it just so happens with the way that the fields are shaped. There's like fields within fields here, it could all be made into one big one but it, yeah. There's some like banks and stuff. Anyway, we're going to get that uh, finished off now. Now we have to get a little bit more. Oh, it's a bit rough going over the side, ways on to the field. Um, that maze in front is our neighbours, so that's not ours. So Mark's going to start folding it up now, I think, this is the plan. Getting it ready to go down the road. We better head back and tip this. Wow, this clamp is really turning into... Oh, it's bogged him down! Oh no, I'll try again. Yeah, he'll have to have another go at that. He's trying to get it up nice and steep so we can get it all in. But he just didn't win, didn't win the prize that time. Another go. Oh, yeah, he's doing it. Doing it. Job's a good one. So I'm just waiting now to tip my load off because we might as well let him uh, get into place. I got his mess up, Chris. Why is that seeing me? Chris is getting back on it now. I got it. I got you. Bog down! <laughs> <laughs> we needed Chris on an extra I'll weight, that's what it was. Butcher, <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're having a bit of a fill up of diesel. Andy's going round feeding up. Right, it's getting windy. It's going to be hard for us to open out the next field. But I thought while we are filling this up with diesel and we're parked up, I'll get this. <laughs> It's not going to be edited, let's face it. It's just going to be compiled together. Um, so I um, apologise if there's some long bits which get a bit boring or whatever, then um, that was why, because I've not had to look, time to look through it. We're just back on doing a maze harvest. We'll be doing that again tomorrow, um, finishing off. 
then we'll have to sheet up so if you want to press subscribe and press like for us that would be fantastic and that means that you will also get a notification of the um, next video or if we go live again tonight so um, thanks everyone for watching if anybody wants any of the merchandise it's um, joeseals.com we've got the woolly hats in again so you can uh, get them ready for winter um, that's about it thank you very much for watching like I said, it's going to be a late night again and yeah that's it business see you later guys bye